Now. <laughs> I'll get you the hundred bucks. He said that I won two days ago. This guy Snapchatted me last night and he said hi. And I said, What's up? And he goes, Where's my hundred dollars? <laughs> then he called me. He couldn't afford to get into his room, he needed it. I got ODM. Oh, Are you doing it for real? Yeah. How many times am I gonna birthday? Okay. Alright. Home turf bucks. advantage? Hundred bucks. Okay. Let's see it now. Okay, heads. In the air. Heads. What is it? Heads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, did he pay you from yesterday though? No. Oh, oh that's the thing. Oh, well, we did double or nothing. Oh. And then oh then I won earlier and he said, oh that didn't count. So, oh, so you just wait until he actually won yeah, it. Look at this. Cali dirt. <laughs> Hundred bucks. Crisp. I'm sure this will like uh follow suit and go back here we're yeah, gonna keep this my we're gonna keep this in like a like a little tip jar so we can gamble with hunter later That's rough. <laughs> He's just oh, taking Hunter's money today. That's rough. Hey, okay, we'll get rolling. Jim finally made it here, so I'll put stick around Jim here a little bit. But uh, appreciate everybody coming up this year. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be getting into a couple of showers probably still this evening. Bear with us. We, we've got the time. We'll work through it. Uh, we took. A tremendous amount of water here yesterday. Everybody can tell from the track out here. So, judge for yourself out there. I was kind of hoping for a little drier scenario, but I think we're going to be fine out there as we get going. Wait, Bert, your hair's on point, though. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Thank you. Um, I thought that was Sunny Bono. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, you got to just make it happen here. Uh, I don't have a lot, so basically we have two classes here tonight. We have our NARC 410 people, and we really appreciate you guys coming up. And we've got our IMCA Modifieds out here. Uh, we will go live with uh, MRP here shortly. Um, everything for a pill draw is already in there, so it'll pop up on your apps there, and you'll see your qualifying order on the uh, uh, 410s. And, of course, we're using the uh, three-point average on the, the Modifieds here. So it'll be pretty simple as we get rolling through here. Uh, who hasn't been here before in the sprint cars? Everybody. So everybody knows push off lanes over here. Um, the tech shack over here is where you're going to come back through. Do you want to do weights after qualifying or no? 
to do that. Okay. And so, top three. Top okay, three and top after. three after every event. So you got that well, after, the after qualifying comes through. Um, we'll weigh you out there. Top three in your heats and mains. No, just, just main. Just main? Just okay. Main. Okay. Um, so anyway, we'll make sure all that happens. Uh, tonight we are going to be doing a memorial lap for some of our fellow patrons and uh, racers that have passed away and that will happen right after opening ceremonies and following that then uh, Jim will be doing the introductions for all the drivers uh, in the sprint car series. Uh, I don't have a lot so if there are any questions for me and if not I will pass it to Jim and Jim and Roger so we've got a couple to go through. Excellent. Okay. All right, uh, man, it's hard to believe we're already in day five, and I know my ass is gassed already. Um, uh, all the NARC guys, uh, I just want to say thank you for doing everything. I know some of you guys have uh, built new cars and uh, had some bad luck. I uh, really appreciate uh, you guys uh, supporting this for the week. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, also at this time, I also would like to, uh, you know, we, we, you might not be big fans of us sometimes, but I wanted to thank my officiating crew because they've been burning the candles on both ends. If you just give these guys a round of applause. Uh, the library introduction, we're still working out the details and how that's going to work. As soon as we get that, uh, whoever's in the pit on the microphone will inform you on how we're going to funnel you up there and all that good stuff. It'll be the same thing that we did uh, pretty much uh, yesterday at Willamette. So with that, Dan O'Leary. All right, I've um, got a couple new cars tonight, so I'm going to go over a few things again that you've heard all week. You're probably tired of it. Transponders, every time you go on the track, make sure your transponder's on. That includes wheel packing, that's when we check to make sure they're working. Receiver, we're going to be on the same channel we've been all week. It's 466-0875, channel 1288. We'll ride it on the board down here for the new people. So make sure you got your receiver in and it's working. We have 23 cars tonight, guys. That's a real good car count. Thank you all for being here. It'll be the three heat format we've been running all week. Fast car in the heat starts fourth. Second fast in the heat's on the pole. And so on back like that, the dash is gonna be the heat winner and the fastest qualifier from the top five. If the fastest car in the heat, the car that starts fourth, wins that heat, we only take one car out of, the, of that heat for the dash. So we'll be less than the dash. Scales, they already went over it. They're in the building down here. We'll do after qualifying, top three after the main. Starts, we've been doing really good this week on starts, guys. Let's keep it up. Nice steady pace all the way down the back, all the way through three and four. When we get to the cone, we start. Front row needs to be even. Everybody stay in line, nose to tail, till the front row goes. Try not to go start fanning out till the front row starts the race. We get a yellow slow down as safely as possible get in line single file so we can get the scores and get you in the right place we do double file restarts for the first four laps of the heat and we do double file for the first 20 of the main the last 10 laps of the main are single file on a double file restart the leader can pick high or low if the leader goes high every other car goes high so third goes high fifth goes high if he goes low just the opposite so it's the leader's decision which way to go if the track conditions are bad, we'll go single file like we did last night. Double file restart, leader starts the race. That means whoever's leading, outside, inside, he starts the race. Everybody stays in line, nose to tail, until he picks up the throttle. There's a cone in the middle of three and four, and the original start cone in four. He can start anywhere in that area, but he starts it. Second place needs to stay beside him. Don't pull out in front of him. Don't back up and get try to get a run on him. Stay next to him. When the leader goes, you're racing. Once the leader picks up the throttle on a double file start, you can race, you can pull out a line, you can do what you need to do. But we'll let the leader start the race. If the second place car jumps the restart, we're going to put you back and put somebody else in that spot. So if you're running second, don't try to jump the restart. We go single file, flag stand on the front straightaway. When you go by that flag stand, you must be totally behind the car that's in front of you. That does not mean nose to tail. It means when I look across straight, I should see his rear bumper and your front bumper and no overlap. If you're out of line a little bit, I don't care, but just don't get up next to it. If you jump a restart on single file, it's two spots for every one you jump. And we'll do it on the next yellow or at the end of the race, whichever comes first. If we got a red, slow down as safely as possible. And that means 
if you've got to go by the accident because you can't stop try to slow down watch out for safety crew once you get by the accident pull away from it a ways before you do stop so the safety crew has plenty of room but i don't expect you to lock up your brakes and stack everybody up behind you if you've got to go by it just do it safely um, one thing we've been having a little bit of problem hot laps guys you see the checkered flag on hot laps next time you go by the flag stand you need to be slowed down it's not two laps after the checker. Once you see the checker, you better be slowed down next time you get to the flag stand. We're been not real, we haven't been enforcing it real well. We're going to start doing something about it. Don't take that extra hot lap. There's no need for it. Fuel here. We have issues here. Every, I don't know why, but everybody says it just drinks fuel on this track. We're going to set the fuel laps at 60. Hopefully we don't have a problem. If we do, we'll worry about it then. But 60 total green, yellow flag laps for 60 laps, then we'll go for fuel. Tires, it can be an issue here. We had an issue last year. It's not going to be an issue this year. You guys need to, if the track's taking time, wearing out your tires, drive accordingly. We're going 30 laps. There's no question here. Barring a thunderstorm or something that we can't control, we're going to go 30 laps in that main event. So if you have to take it easy on the tires for the first 10 or 15, that's what you got to do. You start popping tires at the end, you may not get time to change it. So tire management. I'm not going to cut the late race. That's just not going to happen this year. We're going 30 laps. Work area. It's kind of back here on that road behind this building and down that way. Once the last car gets there and Derek tells me you're there and I got a good lineup, you get two minutes. I tell you on the receiver when he gets there and when the clock starts, I tell you when there's a minute down and then I'll tell you when the lights are out. So if you're on the track, you know what we're waiting for. If you're in the work area, you know how much time you have. When those two minutes are up, you have to be ready to push. Not we're ready and you're still putting bolts on. I've worked the work area, I know how that goes. They're yelling they're ready and they're still bolting on parts. It's two minutes. Um, my wife can tell you, I don't keep track of it, she'll tell you how many laps it takes us when we have a yellow. And this last race, it's anywhere from four to seven laps for a car when we have a yellow. When we're only gonna go 60 laps total and 30 of them are racing, you understand how that can become a problem. So when we tell you on the race even to get in line, please, as quickly as possible so we don't burn up more laps than we have to. I mean, I'm relying on you guys. You've been doing really good this week. We'll just keep it up and we shouldn't have any problems. If we don't have any questions, I'm done. We got a couple more here. Uh, oh, Jim. Ready? Go for it. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm uh, Jim Shepard. I'm your uh, chaplain tonight. Uh, we're glad you guys are here. Most of you know me. I've seen you around the country at different places. Uh, modified guys, you seem, you're only going to have to get a new zip code here, I think. So glad you're here again tonight. Let's, let's pray. Fathers, we're just so thankful for this day. We're thankful for the men and women that have come up to race with us tonight. We just ask you to, to uh, just bless this track. Keep our racers safe. Keep their team safe. Lord, just help us have a great night of racing. Lord, we're all tired. We ask you now to give us this energy, give us focus, give us strength, and get the, the sportsmanship will prevail in the time you run. Thank you for the opportunity to do the sport we love. We just ask you to bless now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, guys. Okay, so there is fireworks right after the uh, main event. So be prepared. We will kill the lights here in the pits for a few minutes, and uh, we'll get that done. So be safe, have fun, and uh, we'll see you at the end of the night. Thank you. So we'll pack in 10 minutes, please. Are you on the board,
<laughs> we need to think of a game plan for next time. Oh no, we're trying to play this. Where's going? Just if we can, if we can just wait this little bit out. I mean, yeah, but we keep wait, we keep waiting, and then if it never if it never gets better, then what? We just hey, we know the rain's coming up. right. Before 10 30 tonight yeah, or at night I mean we're not saying to cancel it we're saying let's just wait and see hey because we if we get out there you're not getting the cars off no oh, I, I agree You. Not too bad, not too Been bad. Been enjoying yourself? Yeah, I tried to. Good.
left already. This is the house car. First time, wow. One, two, four, two, five. One, two, four, two. For the number eight. Let's see if he can better that time second time around. It is a... It is 12, 371. One, two, 371. From the third generation driver. It was great to see his dad and grandpa. In the 2K, the California driver, Gage Garcia. Gage Garcia on the clock. Twelve eight sixty nine one two eight six nine. And he'll keep that first lap of a twelve eight six nine. Oh, and his name goes back. The Cadine Racing family, his dad, his brother, his grandpa, they've all taken their turn behind the wheel. This driver out of Campbell, California, 2017 NARC champion. He's brought to you by Missile Motorsports, Alviso Rock Williams Roofing out of Campbell, California. Bud Cadine in the number 29. Bud Cadine. One, two, eight, six, nine, one, two, eight, sixty, nine. We'll see if he can better that. He jumped up to actually a one, two, five, eight, five his time. First lap is quicker with a one, two, five, eighty, five. the 21P, fresh off his first career 410 NARC win last night. At a Cobble Hill, British Columbia, former Skagit Speedway champion, it is Robbie Price. Robbie Price. Quick time of the night, one, two, 281, 12281. Wow. 12096. That is quick time of the night. Wow. Fresh off that win last night, Sean. I'm sure making it look like uh, his first stop to Elma this year, too. He doesn't get to come down here very often. Speaking of fresh off wins, this driver won at Cottage Grove this week. The Bates Hamilton Racing Sponsor, number 42X. He's out of Clarksburg, California. This is Justin Cox. Justin Cox. Oh, second quick time of the night, and it's a quick one. One, two, two, sixty-two. stick with that first lap. His first lap was his quickest of the two. One, two, two, sixty-two. So it's Robbie Price, Justin Cox, Devin Borden, Bud Gating, Gage Garcia, your top five so far. Another driver got his career first win this week at Southern Oregon Speedway on Wednesday night. Finished third in this event last year. In the 18. The Shane DeWalt Trucking sponsored car from Jacksonville, Oregon. This is Tanner Holmes. One, two, three, ninety-one. One, two, three, ninety-one. He's going to try to better that one. And he does. The one, two, three, fifty-two. One, two, three, five, two. That's third quickest of the night. Out of Arlington, Washington, the JRS Motorsports Triple X Race Cars. Out of Arlington, Car Twenty One S, Jesse Slotfeld. He 
pedals his way down the back stretch on this 3 8 Clay Oval. He'll watch his time off turn four. Twelve four zero three one two four zero three for the twenty one S. Driver at Arlington. Twelve three sixty one. Second lap is quicker. He'll move up into the top five. He'll be fourth quickest thus far. Jesse Schlotfeld. This is the guy to watch this weekend, the Aromas California driver, the Mitri Motorsports Farmers Brewing Company. This is Justin Sanders. Currently second in the point standings, three podiums and four nights this week for this driver. And he's got three wins for the year. And he quickly jumps up to third quickly for the one, two, three, four, several. One, two, three, four, zero for Justin Sanders. We'll see how he does on the second. Will he better it? One, two, three, 22 for Sanders. One of the hottest drivers in the NARC series this year. Rookie driver out of Clovis, California, although he has ran here in a 360 just a year ago from Clovis, California. The Gary Silver Ranches. Fortitude Driver Development Program and J.I. Apparel Company. This is Dominic Gordon. Dominic for the one, two, five, one, nine, one, two, five, one, nine. That's not good. Not a good sight, John. Yeah, you wondered if it was overflowed originally, and then you saw the flames. Well, quickly on the scene, though, Casey Extreme Motorsports. Brett, Sean, Great to have him here this weekend, isn't it? Kid is on the ball. A great assist to our safety crew.
12J from Windsor, California to CCI Racing. It is John Clark. John Clark in the 12J. One three zero two nine. One three zero two nine. Going to have to better that if he wants to join everybody else in that 12-second bracket. And he will. One, two, seven, three, eight. One, two, seven, three, eight. Driver from Australia. 
Attard Becker racing. This is Jesse Attard in the 53 joining us here tonight. Attard with a 1, 2, 4, 3, 7. 1, 2, 4, 37 for Jesse on that first lap. Jesse just entertaining the crowd. Did you see that, Sean? I was looking the other way. I was looking at the timing clock. Look at his tire tracks. Yeah. Driver out of Venetia, California, 2020 rookie, 21 rookie of the year in the Redline Oil sponsored car. Plant Reclamation, Legacy Glass, Transport Products Unlimited. This is Billy Aton. One, two, four, zero, seven. And he'll stick with that one, two, four, zero, seven. That'll put him in the 10th fastest qualifier out of the 19 thus far. Driver currently out of Chico, California, but actually from Vail, Arizona. The Parker Automotive, this is Nick Parker. Nick Parker. Nick with a one, two, six, zero, nine. One, two, six, zero, nine for Nick Parker. Quicker on his second lap. One, two, four, one, eight. One, two, four, one, eight for Mr. Parker. In the 4L from Roy Washington, the Taylor on site, Borden's Auto Park. This is Lane Taylor. Lane Taylor in the four car. He does on lap number one. One, two, eight, six, zero. One, two, eight, six, zero. Just a couple of cars remaining to qualify. One, two, eight, six, zero. He'll stay there. Driver with three victories this year. Got the win at Douglas County on Thursday from the Tarleton Motorsports from Lenmore, California, Cole Macedo. Oh, this guy's gonna be quick. We'll see how he does. We'll see if the track's gotten slower or not. Uh, it has not. One, two, 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 nine. Second quickest of the night, and he's not done yet. He'll stay there with a one, two, 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 nine. One car left to qualify. And you know who it is. A guy that could get quick time. He was in the low 12s during hot laps, though the track has probably changed just a little. The time to beat is a one, two, oh, nine, six, held by Robbie Price. And we're talking about the kid that's won eight races thus far this year in the 55 from Puyallup, Washington. The Starks Timber Processing, two-time Skagit Speedway Champion, 2022 Timber Cup winner, runner-up last year, 
This is Trey Starks. Got a win here, opening night in a 360 car. He runs both of those up in Skagit. Let's see what he does. Seventh quickest so far with a one, two, three, fifty-two. Win this week at his home track. The Jacksonville, Oregon driver, so watch that front row. In row number two, the number eight, his home track for Devin Borden. Lock him down, here we go, off turn for Pete. Number one is underway. Justin Cox will take the initial lead. He'll be followed by Tanner Holmes, Devin Gordon, Robbie Price, and Greg Hamilton. And a pass right there, Greg Hamilton slipping up, trying to hold off Robbie Price. Price is there, battling for that four spot. Like Sean said, every spot is important. Trying to make your way to a good starting lineup for the feature. Justin Cox as we quickly lap down in a hurry in that 42 car. Home, Morton, Hamilton, and Robbie Price Taylor back there just a little ways in Dylan Bloomville. Quick the laps go down. We are halfway already for Justin Cox in the 42. Cox the driver out of Clarksburg, California, leading the way. Good look at number 42. Kind of a purplish black color if you want to call it. As he leads him down the back, spreading out between him and Tanner Holt and that good white and blue, number 18. Shane DeWalt trucking 18 car trying to hang on to second. Devin Gordon pedaling for third as the white will fly. White flag is out. Justin Cox. Then it's Tanner Carrick in the 83-2. 83-T, that is the 24 of Chase Johnson, the 29 of Bud Caney, and Gage Garcia in the 2K car. Eight cars, eight laps as the Whitney's Auto Group pace truck. Driven by Stormy Glick, pulls to the infill. Pick out your favorite driver, reach up, tighten those belts up a little bit tighter, because here we go with eight number two. Thompson gets up a little bit up in the air. He'll go backwards. He'll drop not one, but two spots. Back to third, but he'll pedal back. He'll take second back. Tyler Thompson, what a recovery. What a recovery back up to second. The young driver out of Harrisburg, Oregon. Here's your leader, Dominic Selzy, in the 41. It's Thompson. And then the 21 of Macedo, still Johnson. Johnson sitting back in that room. Dominic Selsey once again continuing to lead. Got a great start there. Thompson had a little trouble on the start, but was able to gather it back up and take second. Got a battle for third right now going on. Hang on to third off turn four. Who's it going to 
The night being led by one of the hottest drivers in the circuit, Justin Sanders will lead the way. Tighten those belts up a little bit tighter. Final heat race of the night. Here we go. Now oh, Jesse's locked up trying to stay with it, but uh, he's slipping a little bit. Here comes Trey Starks on the move. He's in third, trying to run down Jesse Slotfield. Only got so many laps to get it done. It's a short race. Oh, nice really hot by the Australian, but he's able to pull it back down. Slotfield hanging on to second right now. Your leader continues to be Justin Sanders as he pulls away from Jesse Slotfield. Trey starts. Billy Aton, Dominic Gordon. Already coming to the halfway point. Four laps down. Your leader continues to be the most impressive driver, Justin Sanders. All oh, the battle in the second. Trey Starks took a look, was unable to get it done. He'll settle back for third right now. And that may be where he ends up unless something changes. It's all Sanders, Slotville, Trey Starks, Billy Aton showing a few puffs of smoke, but it's not slowing him down. This time by, we'll see the white flag, meaning one more time around the 3H play oval. One to go. Sanders, Slotville, Stark, Aton Gordon, your top five. As fast as they did it in 12 seconds, here's the check and flag for Justin Sanders, followed by Jesse Slotville, Trey Stark, Billy. Aton, Dominic Gordon, Jesse Eckhart, and John Clark. Could be one of the most exciting races of the night. It's trophy dash time. Buckle your belts up, folks, just even a little bit more, because here we go. The veteran, Dominic Selsey, will lead the way. Oh, Trey Stark slips up a little bit. He'll still hang on to that fourth spot. The veteran, Selsey, leads him around right now, but look out, here comes the number two. Justin Sanders on the move, one of the winningest drivers of the year with three victories, trying to run down your leader, the veteran, Selsey. Justin Cox sets back third, Trey starts at the 55, and Robbie Price. Looking pretty tight for that third spot. Third is not over yet. Trey starts trying to find which way he's gonna get around Justin Cox, but not a lot of time to get it done. Oh, Cox takes up, takes the line away from the 55, but starts. Now here comes Robbie Price. He'll try to challenge the 55 of Trey Starks for that fourth spot. White flag is out. Selzy continuing to lead him around. 
Now they've kind of fat him down a little bit into turn three off turn four. It's the veteran in the 41, the California driver. Dominic Selby with the win, followed by Justin Sanders in the 2X. Justin Cox, Trey Stark, Robbie Price, and Cole Macedo. Well, Quick dash there for sure. We'll be going down to Jim Allen and welcome back, Jim, by the way. Back to the racetrack and... Dominic Celsi, but check out the next three, four drivers, all 23 of them. Tighten those belts a little bit tighter. Here we go. Quickly off turn four to complete number one is Dominic Celsi. Justin Sanders, Justin Cox, Trey Stark sits back in Tomasito. Oh man, they're looking fast. It's Celsi, Sanders, Cox, Starks, Macedo, Robbie Price. Ray Stark still sitting back in fourth spot, trying to fill this way out of right now. The veteran looking for a victory. It's been a long time for this 41 car. The California driver, Justin Cox, got a win this week. He's in that third spot. Trying to run down. Justin Sanders sitting in that second spot. Celsi, your leader, as they head down the back stretch. A little bit of trouble for the 121, but he gets her gathered up again. Here's your leader into turn number one, 41. That is the two of Sanders. Justin Cox still hanging on to third at the 42. Traffic is going to become an issue already. Five laps in and we're gonna start dealing with some traffic. Now we're gonna see some veteran moves out of Dominic Celsi. Takes about five to six laps before you get into the traffic and here they are now. Dominic Celsi trying to pick his way around. He's gotta be careful what he does, but he can't let up too quick because Justin Sanders will be there. Sanders sitting in the second spot. having a good run right now. The veteran Dominic Celsi tiptoeing his way around some of the lap traffic. Gotta be careful because Justin Sanders is coming. The 2X is coming. He is getting through the back end of Celsi. He's not too far back and he'll bring Justin Cox and Trey starts with him. Sanders is there. Oh baby trying to make a move on the outside. He can't quite get it done. Celsi hugging the bottom. Sanders goes upstairs. Got to keep the pedal to the floor because they are there. Sanders Cox starts. Macedo, your top five. Still dealing with traffic. Oh, sometimes you want to be that second place car to see what the 41's going to do. Celsi still leads the way as he tries to get around the 83 of Dylan Bloomfield. Oh, here's a battle for the lead on the backstretch. Justin Sanders. Dominic Celsi's not going to give me up. He gets back down low. Celsi, Sanders still going at it. Here comes Trey Starks in the 55 now. He's coming up through the field. You better be attention because here comes Starks. He's in that third spot now. Gomesito slips back to fourth. Oh, Justin Sanders is there. Sanders tried the outside, didn't work. Now he's looking at the inside. Drops back about eight car lanes. As we continue to try to go through lap traffic. Lap traffic is going to be that way unless we have a caution. Caution free so far. Selzy, Sanders, Starks, Macedo, and Cox back to fifth. I don't know if 
tires all of a sudden got used up by Justin Sanders because Dominic Celsi starting to put a little distance now between him. Him and the 2X. Trey starts in third. Chelsea's still trying to work his way around traffic. He's got Dylan Blumco. One car, the 15, has dropped to the infield, but is off the racetrack and out of the way. Will stay green. New third place. It's been green all the way. Oh, oh one car it. up into the fence. Still able to keep it going. Trey will get back in the third. With that. Dominic Celsi continues to lead. Justin Sanders, Trey starts. But Colmacito is coming again. He's trying to get that third spot back from Trey Stark. Has gathered it back up, and he's closing in. Tyler Thompson to the infield. Will stay green once again. So Celsi has put some distance between him and the number two. But here comes Colmacito. He'll take the pass to Trey Stark. Macedo trying to get around Trey Stark for that third spot. That's the battle right now. Unable to do it. Going back and forth. He'll go upstairs. Try that now and a good run down the back stretch. The battle right now is for third place as Dominic Celsi continues to lead the way around the racetrack. Oh, that battle for third. Don't take your eyes off that. Celsi's put a little more distance now between him and Justin Sanders. He'll slide up and back, continuing to battle out, but the battle right now is for third. Ray Stark able to hang on to that third spot once again. Five laps to go this time by, if you can believe it. One of the quickest races we've seen. Dominic Celsi working his way through the lap traffic all night has put a lot of distance between him and Justin Sanders. The real battle right now is still for third place. Trey Starks and Oh man, the 21 trying to get by. I think he will. Cole Macedo. But here comes Starks again. Don't take your eyes off that third place between the 55 and the 21. That's the battle. Who's going to get that podium tonight? Oh, they're still going at it. Oh, we got some traffic to deal with though once again. And her home's up to fifth now in the 18 car. Dominic Celsi with a pretty good lead right now. Justin Sanders in the battle for third as the white is out. White out for the 41. One car spun around in turn four. Are you kidding me? Wow, we thought we were going to make it to the finish. 19 minutes in. Our first caution of the night. Well, that's going to change things, no doubt about it. With Dominic Celsi had a pretty great lead over Justin Sanders. Trey Starks had got up to third, Cole Macedo in fourth. Tanner Holmes up to fifth. Justin Cox has dropped back a little bit, but Sean? Trey Starks was coming for second there. He was, he was right, right there. there. And he had his hands full. Yeah. Also sitting there on the back stretch, we were just talking all of a sudden when the one goes out, a couple more go.
Justin Sanders gets that second spot. Him and Trey Starks are still talking about it. Check them out. Right now, the two and the 55, I'm not sure. Kind of appreciated how that went off. I don't know. But they're talking about it. Check this out. <laughs> Justin Sanders and Trey Starks have not having a good, they're not going to have Christmas cards exchanged, that's for sure. Maybe they didn't like the way things happened on that restart. I don't know. But either way, what we do know is we got a winner. He'll be rolling up here in a minute. This guy's going to be happy, Jim.